På 30 års markeringen for Oma supporters klubb som møtte vi da Alan Keegan, speaker Old Trafford. For 22 years you've been doing that now. How uh, how do you keep going? Well, obviously we all love Manchester United, and every season, you know, you live in hope that we're perhaps going to win something. You hope that we get a new player, or you know, everything's going to work out good. And uh, obviously, we've not had the best of runs since Sir Alex left. You know, yeah, we've won the um, Europa League Cup and we've won the FA Cup. But because you're a United fan, you always believe and you always have hope. And I'm no different. Even though I'm the announcer, I still believe, as it says in the stadium. What did you make of this season, very briefly, very short? It's been difficult. It's been a difficult season. I think when any club loses a manager sort of halfway through, particularly a, a legend like Oli, who we all love and adore, it was always going to be very difficult. It was going to be a tough sort of project to come in and pick up. And I think the evidence is there. The season, you know, has been a hard one. Hopefully now with Eric coming in, it's a new page, it's a new start, and we can start to believe again. So when Eric Ten Hag comes out the uh, tunnel for the first game next season, how would you uh, announce him? Well, I'd like to think that we'll give him a nice big welcome. You know, he's here at the club for three years, hopefully four, maybe longer. And uh, I think when he comes out, he's in for a very big surprise. 73,500 people will be cheering him, will be behind him, and hopefully he'll get a feel for the love that he can gain from a club like Manchester United and the fans. Just just briefly, how do you um, prepare for match day? Well, I think it, it's, a, it's a, a finely oiled machine, Manchester United. Obviously, there's a lot of sponsorship involvement. There's a lot of information that one has to give. So every game may be sponsored by a particular sponsor, whether it's Tezos or whoever it might be, Adidas or whoever, team viewer. So you have to give their read and make sure that you cover that particular match for them. You know, then there's the ticket news, there's the information, there's fans' requests. There might be something for the foundation. So, you know, it's quite sort of programmed what we have to do and what we have to say and what my role is. You know, I think if I was to describe it, my uh, role is um, an information service. Have you ever uh, announced the wrong goal scorer? Oh, yes, I've uh, done that a few times, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, I have, I've had a few nightmares when you can't see what's going on and these things happen. You know, a very famous incident when Diego Forlan hadn't scored in, I think, 21 games from open play. And when he when he did score, I gave it to David Beckham because we, there was a substitution happening and I'd looked down and all of a sudden I seen like Beckham celebrating and I, I, I caught his eye and I thought, oh, he scored the goal. Old Chatford, Manchester United's goal scored by number seven, David Beckham. And I heard, ooh. And uh, it was Diego Forlan. But yeah, there's been a few of them. 22 years now, how long can you keep going? As long as they'll have me. It's the okay. best job in the world. Yeah. And you know, you get to meet brilliant people from all around the world. And I've met some great friends on my journey at United. And hopefully it'll continue. Listen, it's a great job. It's not a job, is it? It's a dream. Best seat in the house. Best seat in the house, particularly now, because I'm back in the middle between the dugouts. Because with lockdown, I had to sit in the south stand because of COVID and the restrictions. You, you weren't allowed in the red zone. But now, for the final part of the season, I'm stood in between the two dugouts. I hear what's going on. It's the best seat in the house or the best place to be stood. And here at Oma tonight, you've had a good time with Sammy, Lou Macari and Paddy Gray around. It's been amazing and uh, obviously you've experienced it. You know, we've all been to dinners with legends, with players. But tonight, it was the best of the best. Some of the stories were absolutely amazing and they were fantastic. So, an unbelievable night with three proper United legends.